Hey folks, welcome back. It's been a while since I posted, probably about two years since my last video, uh, which coincidentally overlaps with the pandemic. Um, yeah, so basically what I've been doing for the last two years is focusing on making a video game of all things, which may come as a surprise, maybe not. Um, if some of you know, I started off as a software developer. That's kind of my core, what I studied, what I spent most of my professional career doing. And the music stuff has always been kind of like a, a side thing. Um, so yeah, I guess what I'm going to talk about in this video, I'm going to announce the game. I'm going to play the trailer at the end. And uh, yeah, this is sort of like a, hey, I'm back. I'm still here and slash what I've been doing. And I'll briefly talk about why I decided to make a game and how that relates to this channel and synthesizers and music and what I plan to do with this channel and all that stuff. All right, so yeah, basically what happened is, I don't know if you recall, so I started off as a software developer. That was my, um, that's what I studied. That's what my main career was. That's what I spent the majority of my life doing professionally. And then if you recall, if some of you have been around since the beginning, um, there was a period where I decided to take a break um, from that career and sort of take a sabbatical of sorts and use some of my savings to pursue a more creative um, avenue. And music is the thing that's the core to like my essence, I guess. It's the thing that's always been a part of me my whole life. It's my main thing, I guess. Like when people ask you, like, what is your hobby? What is your thing? For me, it's always been music. And so I wanted to give it a shot in some way, shape or form so I wouldn't get to the end of my life and then regret looking back, um, not having given it a proper try in some capacity. And so basically at some point, this was like a few years ago, I decided to just literally just lay down with a piece of paper and kind of write down, all right, what are, like, what are my passions? What, what, what's something I, I want to do? And how can I combine the different skills I have into something that is both um, creatively fulfilling, but also can help me survive in the practical context in this like capitalist society that we live in, uh, meaning shelter and food require money. And so I can't just go off, live in the woods and make art all day. <laughs> I have to make it practical in some sense. So I've always tried to balance those two things. If you think of like a Venn diagram of like things you're good at, uh, things you enjoy doing, and then things that can help you survive and make money and stuff like that. So I mean, sort of, I brainstormed that stuff, and I went through all the lists of different things, of like, okay, I like music, but now how can I make it practical, and how can I make it enjoyable for myself so I don't lose that spark? And I went through all the different kind of things you can do with music, and initially I ruled out live shows and gigging. I've done that in my college days and high school days. I've sort of played gigs with bands and. I liked it, but it, I felt like it always made me more nervous than it made me happy. Uh, like I'm always sort of anxious on stage and I, I didn't like truly enjoy it. And so I kind of ruled out that side of things. I decided I like music, but I don't like being like a performing musician. I much prefer being behind the scenes and just writing music and um, experimenting and composing and all that stuff. So then I thought, okay, so if I'm going to just compose music, what does that look like? Like, what would make me happy? And I thought, okay, do I want to compose for others or do I want to compose for myself? Um, anyways, I'm sort of rambling now, but basically I went through this whole elaborate process of like writing things down to try to figure out like, what is a good intersection of all the things I'm interested in? Because I'm interested in other stuff besides just music. I like art in general, I like drawing, I like programming. So I like the like scientific technical side of things. And basically what I came down to the conclusion after sort of mellowing through all this is that YouTube would be like a good avenue to kind of channel all that creative energy into because it, it will allow me to uh, exercise my creative and technical sides. So I have to learn how to edit videos and then I could talk about gear and all that stuff. I can make tutorials. That's another thing I like. I like teaching. Um, and it would also allow me to sort of have an excuse to compose music because I would have an outlet to kind of channel it into and talk about that stuff. 
So it felt like an aha moment. It felt like a light bulb went off, like, oh yeah, YouTube. That's kind of like, it allows me to be at home because I'm sort of like an introvert and a homebody. So I'm happiest when I'm at home in my studio and not going out and bars and trying to find gigs and all that. Like none of that stuff appeals to me. So yeah, YouTube basically felt like the, the right thing to try if I'm going to sort of take a break from work and dive into something. So anyways, this was like a few years ago, I made a video about this, like, I don't know if you recall, where I sort of announced, okay, I'm quitting my job, I'm gonna try this YouTube thing for a while and see what happens. So I did that, I tried it for a while, and my main goal wasn't to make money or anything, my, well, my, my goal was to just survive. <laughs> I told myself, like, if I can find a place where I'm just making enough money just to pay minimum rent and food and shelter and all that stuff, and internet, and all, just the basics, uh, while making music and YouTube content, like that would be a, a great place for me. Like I wouldn't, I would obviously take a huge pay cut from compared to what I was making as a software developer, but I wouldn't care because I would find more fulfillment doing that kind of stuff. So I tried that for a few years and made a bunch of videos and my channel definitely grew. I started off at 10K subs and now it's at like over 100K. Uh, which is awesome. So thanks for everyone who's been subscribing and watching my videos. Like, I was actually shocked to see that the channel has been growing even without me actively like making videos there. Um, but yeah, so th the channel definitely sort of on paper it grew, but like behind the scenes, it didn't make enough money for it to be like a sustainable long-term thing. And I was definitely starting to like drain my uh, savings. And I knew that coming in, it wasn't a surprise. Like I planned ahead of time, I'm gonna save this much money. I'm gonna try to make some with YouTube and YouTube has been helping a little bit for sure. Um, but anyways, I, I got to a point where there was this like crossroads and this sort of happened at the beginning of the pandemic, uh, which was sort of a coincidence. So this wasn't related to the pandemic in any way uh, directly, but I, I got kind of like semi burnt out, not fully burnt out, but um, I sort of started running out of ideas and I started dredging making videos um, because it, it felt like it was leaning more towards like very gear heavy videos and it was sort of not creatively fulfilling. And I started kind of losing ideas in terms of songs. And I felt this like constant pressure to always make videos, but I feel like that pressure was uh, making my songs worse because I was trying to like force myself to make music um, and sort of pump stuff out. Yeah, so it was a combination of that and then realizing that like, okay, maybe financially this isn't working out the way I had in planned and intended, uh, which is fine. Like I, I knew at the beginning that there was a possibility of either failure or success. So I wasn't just like blindly putting all my eggs in this basket. I wanted to just give it a proper try and I'm glad I did. Um, and not to say that it's a failure by any means. Like obviously I grew, I made, I made a bunch of videos that I'm proud of. Um, a lot of people subscribed, I made some money. So like there, by some measure it was successful for sure. But by an objective, by my own measure of like just sustaining my life, I guess, <laughs> my like minimal lifestyle. Um, it was, I felt like it was reaching towards an end. And the thing about YouTube is that it's very unpredictable. That's what kind of makes it tricky is that you can make a video that you think will go viral or get a lot of views and it doesn't. And then you do another one that you don't think will do well and it does. And then when one does well, if you repeat that same sort of general video, the other one can do well, but the first one didn't and vice versa. So you're kind of at the mercy of the algorithm in some sense. And it's tricky to rely on that if that is your only, like your primary source of like income. So anyways, all that huge ramble, just to say that that's kind of the headspace I was at, at the beginning of the pandemic. And I was sort of thinking like, do I want to just keep going here or do I need to try something else? And this, this wasn't like a, like a flip decision that happened. This was just like a seed that was planted in my head. And then at that point I was trying to think about, okay, what, what are some things um, that would reignite the spark and make me sort of excited and I can maybe kind of venture into slightly different things. And the thing that's always been sort of at the back of my head for a long time now is I've always wanted, I've always been captivated about writing music for other pieces of, uh, or like other mediums of art, I guess. And you would have seen some of that. I had a series called Art to Music where I took people's art and composed music for that. And that was one way to channel that uh, energy.
But also, I've always wanted to write music for games and indie movies and just any any kind of art. Like uh, if there were like a, a group of dancers or something, I would love to compose music for that. So I've always had an interest in that and just kind of blending, like using music to contextualize other kinds of art. Um, so I decided to, this was sort of the beginning of the pandemic, I decided to try to make like a very simple game prototype just to have something to write music to because I felt like other um, all the other indie games that I was interested in had already have composers and it's a very competitive field. Uh, you find that there's way more composers looking for work than there is work looking for composers. So I decided to sort of, as I usually do, <laughs> just go off the beaten path and instead of competing and trying to find work there, I'll make my own work by creating my own little game prototype just to have something to compose for. Um, and this was mainly at the beginning just to make, a, I was gonna make a YouTube video showing how I made the music for that game. And then what happened is it sort of started, I started falling down this rabbit hole. Uh, so I started doing a little prototype using existing other people's assets. And then I got to a point where I got sort of addicted to <laughs> making games. And then that prototype started turning into other ideas and then into other ideas and then I started changing game engines and I started learning about game programming because I've been a non-game programmer for a long time. I've been doing just like native uh, iOS apps and web apps and stuff. Um, I've done a bit of game programming in the past but never like to this extent. So I started to kind of go all in on that. I put my sort of channel on pause and basically what happened is that I decided that if I'm going to focus on this I need to channel all my mental energy there and I find that if I engage too much in social media and read comments and all that, it kind of mentally distracts me. And, and sometimes all it takes is to read one slightly negative comment and it kind of, I don't know, it takes me out of my mental state. It's hard for me to, to um, be able to parse all that and then still keep a positive mind. So I decided to just go cold turkey and just shut down my YouTube, well not shut down, <laughs> like the YouTube channel is still there, but I mean for me mentally shut it down out of my mind and not engage with it, not interact with it and just go all in on the game. I felt like that was the best thing to do for me, for my personal way of working is I, I usually, um, I don't know, I get like obsessed with things. <laughs> so like when I find a new interest, like for example, if I'm into drawing or something, I'll just go all in on that, do research, study and all that. So same thing happened here, I, I got into game programming and I just went all in on that, like shutters, uh, tunnel vision into that and went all in. And then the prototype turned into a game. So initially I started making a mobile game um, and I actually completed that game, I wrote music for it. And then at the end I decided not to release it <laughs> um, because I wasn't, too happy. Oh, well, I realized that I was making a game that I thought others would play rather than making a game that I want to play. And I realized that I don't really play mobile games. So I'm, I was thinking like, why am I making a mobile game if I'm not going to play it myself? I like how, am I, like, how can I market something to people if I don't myself want to play it? So basically I abandoned that game um, and I cut my losses there, but I took the experience I gained from that prototype and I started doing other prototypes and basically I went through tons of prototypes, tons of different ideas. Um, there, there was a, a few months there where I was doing nothing really concretely productive. I was just kind of trying all kinds of different things until eventually after I'll fast forward all the random details, but eventually I got to a point where something clicked and things started to come together and I finally got an idea. Okay, I want to make a desktop game. I want to use a controller and I want to make it um, sort of like a um, precision 2D platformer but with an emphasis on music and sort of environmental storytelling um, so without explicit narrative or anything like that and I wanted to, the core focus to be on the gameplay to feel fun and for the experience overall to always be exciting so always introducing new mechanics and having unique pieces of music in every single level which was kind of a challenge and I'll go over that in future videos when I talk about the how I compose music, how I did the sound design. Um, but yeah, needless to say, I guess that's what I've been doing for this whole time. And finally now it's in a place where I'm ready to 
uh, have my Steam page ready or like the coming soon page. So if you guys are interested, you can go to the Steam page and click wish list. So you can have it in your like wish list when the game comes out. So right now it's going to come out on Windows only on Steam um, to start. And then I'll see if it's successful. I'll branch out to other um, avenues. But yeah, that's basically the kind of high level story of what's been going on in my head this whole time. And this has been by far the biggest project I've ever done. Uh, it's the, like I've worked full time on this for about two years. And it's not only the most like the biggest programming project I've done, it's the biggest art project I've done. I've done I've, I did all the pixel art for this, which I had to train myself as well. I did all the music, all the sound design, all the game design. And sound design was super fun. It's also like the most sound design I've done in a project. And also, incidentally, the most music I've composed in a short amount of time. I had to write about 180 some odd uh, pieces of music, not full, full songs, but like like one to two minute uh, pieces of music. Yeah, each with distinct themes um, because I wanted every sort of section of the game to have it a unique uh, musical feel. So needless to say, it was a huge undertaking, way more than I expected. And I'm proud that I did it. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Um, this is just, again, one of those like ventures, one of those kind of chapters in my life, if you will. So at the beginning, I sort of had my formal like career in programming. And then my the next chapter was the YouTube, trying the YouTube channel. And then this chapter was sort of the making the game uh, chapter. And then we'll see what happens. Like I'm hoping that the game is relatively financially successful, uh, at least to like fund a little bit of the development costs, but I'll see. I don't know. I know it's a very competitive market and I know I'm not approaching the marketing side from a traditional sense. So yeah, it's we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm glad I did it. It's It was exhausting and I'm glad it's done. So I guess what the plans are for this channel is I definitely want to keep it going. I don't want to like shut down the channel. I'm still interested in music. Obviously, I'm still interested in synthesizers. I've been composing regularly for the last two years. It's not like I haven't done any musical stuff, but I didn't want to make any videos because I felt like any kind of attention I put on the channel will distract me from the game. And I wanted 100% of my full attention to go to the game because uh, I wanted to make it as good as I possibly can. And so yeah, the future plans for the channel is, well, I guess we'll see what, how the game does. If the game completely flops, then I'll have to reassess. I'll probably have to go back in in software development and do this more as like a side project. If it does well, we'll see. I might also try to go back into YouTube and give it another shot to see if I can ramp up, um, see what happens there. But I'm still interested in music and synthesizers and YouTube and all that. So I'm not giving up on that. I need to find a balance with something that's creatively fulfilling, but at the same time can pay the bills, right? Like I think we all want that in life <laughs> or we need that, I guess, in this society. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm still on that journey. I still haven't succeeded, if you will, um, and I'm still trying and I'll see, see what happens. I'm just kind of like trying different things. So I've tried the YouTube stuff. It didn't quite succeed. I mean, it succeeded in some way and it failed in other ways. And now I'm trying this game project, um, which hopefully has more potential uh, in a market sense. We'll see. But it was also incredibly creatively fulfilling for me. I got to really kind of put my soul into this. I realized that games as a medium is like the ideal medium for me because I love making art. I love making music. I love programming. I love game design. I love playing games. And this allows me to create like a universe and to kind of do all these different, wear all these different hats. And it's been like super, super fun for me. So yeah, I hope I would love to continue making games uh, for a long time if possible. I would also love to make music and videos. Like I have a lot of interest. I just need to find something that's that's financially can support me, but also that's sort of creatively fulfilling. So we'll see. Maybe this channel will continue being more about gear, more about music. I still have an, an album that I'm working on kind of on the back burner that I want to release at some point unrelated to the game. And I want to showcase how I do that in, on the YouTube channel as well. So I still have some ideas that are brewing in the back of my mind of stuff I want to talk about. Um, so yeah, you, you, there will be some adjustment period on this channel. I'll probably 
It'll probably be a little inconsistent for a little bit and the content will be, I'll be experimenting with different stuff. I'll maybe do more videos like this where I'm just talking about stuff that's going on in my life. Um, and then maybe some videos will be more gear centric and then some will be just abstract and just music focused. And uh, I'll, I want to do more art to music videos and collaborate with other artists as well. I want to do, now that I'm getting better at pixel art, I'm, I might want to do more pixel art slash music related things. And I want to collaborate with other pixel artists. Basically, there's a lot of stuff I want to do. It's just a matter of finding the time and money to do it all. And yeah, just I'm on that journey now to try to figure things out and see what happens. Um, but yeah, all right. So let's talk about the game now after I've done that huge speech of what's been going on. So the game is basically a 2D precision uh, platformer with pixel art graphics and I know you're thinking oh wow just like every other indie game ever well <laughs> well there's a kind of a reason for that right it's easier to make pixel art but also I like pixel art as a medium because it's uh, it's very abstract and it allows you to say a lot with very little and I, I like the charm of it I guess I'm I grew up in the 90s so I grew up with Super Nintendo and all that so like it's there is a nostalgia factor there too um, but more than that, I, I, I like the way it visually looks. So even if I had more resources to make high fidelity graphics, I think I would still pick uh, kind of low fidelity pixel art because I like that style. But the music is not uh, retro. So I didn't want the game to have a full retro feel. I want it to be more in the vein of Celeste where it's pixel graphics combined with high quality music. Um, and so th that's the, the path I chose here as well. You play as a, me a space medic and the Earth was just hit by an asteroid, and then you have to go from planet to planet on your mission to save Earth. But it's not a very story-driven game. In fact, there's no explicit storytelling, there's no dialogue. It's all environmentally told, um, because that's the kind of games I like to play. And I wanted to focus the main mechanics on being fun and intuitive to play. So I spent a lot of time tuning the way the, the controls feel and the way the player reacts and feels. I wanted that to be the core anchor to everything else. But then I wanted to also focus on creating like a almost like a visual and audio experience in a way. Like I almost play the game now. I've played it so many times as I was testing it, but and I play it now. It's almost like listening to an album. So I wanted to make every single level, there's 180 plus levels. Um, I wanted to make every single one have, or most of them, have a unique piece of music in there. So it almost feels like as you go from level to level, I wanted to make sure that you never get bored and you never get the same experience twice. So it's either visually changing or it's new mechanics are being introduced with every level or the music is being changed every single time. So now when I play it, it's almost like I'm listening to an album because the, the songs change and then the way the, the world is structured is you go from planet to planet and every planet has its own visual and audio themes and I'll make more videos because obviously the channel is not about games uh, so I'll make more videos specifically about the music and how I thought about it and how I composed it and how I structured it and what synths I use and all that stuff I'll do videos on that later for those of you who are interested in that kind of stuff yeah I just wanted to make this game I guess I wanted to make a game that was fun for me to play and I think I reached that point because now when I test it I genuinely have fun playing the game myself so hopefully at least one other person <laughs> thinks the same way um, and if not I guess it's a good it'll be a good like portfolio uh, project for me to have if it doesn't succeed uh, but we'll see I'll, I'll, I gave it my best I put everything into it and I'm proud of it so what happens now is sort of out of my hands um, hopefully people like it and if not I guess that's cool too so yeah all I, all I can ask from you now is if you want to support me I'll put a link uh, down below to the Steam page and you can just click wishlist so the game is not live yet I have to at least wait two weeks according to Steam to in its like coming soon stage but also I want to make sure I iron out any bugs and I'm, I'll probably be thinking about doing some beta testing with friends and stuff like that um, so I'm gonna play the trailer of the game now and I guess I should mention one more thing is that my sort of brand name for the game development side is seven blue pixels all one word so you can find me on all socials there Twitter Instagram so because I, I was thinking of should I release this under once upon a synth but I didn't want to kind of pollute that world because I know a lot of people are here just for synths and music 
and not necessarily for games. So I didn't want to kind of muddy that water. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in more of the game stuff, um, I'm going to be probably posting stuff on my other uh, brand, I guess, if you want to call it seven blue pixels, all one word. And then this one will be more focused on music and stuff. But there will be some crossover because at the end of the day, it's just me and it's not a company. Uh, so my interests will likely bleed from one to the other. Like I'll probably talk about game um, music and stuff like that on this channel. And then on that channel, I might talk about some music too. So it'll be... I, basically, I don't want to filter myself anymore. Like the reason I kind of stopped making videos is I, I was being overly analytical about everything. I was overthinking it. Like, what if I post this? How will this do? What if this fails? Blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't want to think about that anymore because I'd rather just post random videos than not post anything at all, uh, which is sort of what I've been doing for the last two years. All right, so that's about it. Sorry that I've been absent for so long. Uh, I hope you understand where I'm coming from and, and mentally where I was. Um, it, for me, the only healthy way I could see me getting through this project is to shut myself off from social media. I wish I was better mentally at um, sort of dealing with comments and all that, but I, I felt like I ha if I'm going to give this a shot and this is sort of my life I'm talking about, so I didn't want to take any risks, additional risks. And so for me, the best way was to not record any videos, not engage in any way with anybody and just go heads down. I've been ignoring people IRL as well. <laughs> so yeah, I've, I've had to sacrifice um, like human interaction, I guess, for a long time and sort of live in the shadows uh, while making this game. So I don't know, hopefully it'll be worth it. I'm definitely proud and happy. So even if this completely fails, I like look and when I'm older and looking back in my life, I think I will be proud of this moment that I created this thing because I didn't I, I like I made it the way I wanted to make it. And I made a game that I genuinely want to play. That was sort of my goal from the beginning. Um, so yeah, hopefully it succeeds. I want it to succeed. Obviously, I, I, I'd love to be able to do more creative stuff in my life without like requiring a secondary career on the side. But We'll see, it's sort of out of my hands now. I'll try my best to market it. I'm really bad at marketing, so that's one thing I need to figure out. Um, but yeah, I guess in summary, channel's still alive. I will be posting videos. I'm not giving up on this channel. And uh, thank you for your patience. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for everyone who's still been watching videos despite me not being there. Uh, thank you for all the new subscribers that were there um, that joined since I was missing. And yeah, I'm back. I'm here. I hope to make more videos and we'll see. I'm really nervous about this game launch, but we'll see what happens. Um, again, I'm just I'm trying to frame this as like chapters in my life. There was the, the YouTube chapter, this chapter, and then we'll see what happens next. Maybe we'll have another YouTube chapter. Maybe I'll have to go back and do a nine to five job again. Um, and uh, or maybe the game will take off and we'll see what happens uh yolo i guess as the kids say all right thanks so much for watching i'll play the trailer now again remember to click on the steam link in the description and i'll catch you all in the next one